Hey everybody, thank you guys very much for joining. Uh, if you're new here, uh, my name is Brennan. I'm part-time reseller. Uh, and for this video, I'm gonna take you guys along on some garage sales throughout this weekend. Uh, we are getting really, really down to it here in Cincinnati. Uh, we've got a few week, I think a few weekends left. Um, I will not be able to garage sale next weekend as we are going camping. Uh, so we're gonna try to load it up uh, this weekend and show you guys what we can find. So let's go. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing good. Good morning. Beautiful day. Oh, yeah. We're hoping everybody wants to decorate for Christmas. <laughs> oh, we've just put up our Halloween decorations, so. Oh, we have some of those, too. <laughs> <laughs> There's look a little at bit of everything here. It looks like it. Cool. I might have something in my house you want. I'll go find it. <laughs> Do you have any uh, records? Yes. yes. They're back here on back the corner. Here? Oh, awesome. Thank you. Do you have a price on those, Jean? No, I don't think I do. Three dollars each. Towards twenty. Yeah. They're yours. yours. <laughs> but current um, people are making you can buy money. you can buy crazy ones like pretty inexpensive ones like Walmart and Walmart for fifty dollars maybe. And uh, I got my granddaughter and she goes through the records and pulls out the she doesn't know anything about the app. Totally. Wow. So we had a lot of records. Unless you're fighting it. Well we actually had a certain thing but you know it's like okay, we used to wait forty years. These are some things, excuse me, these are some things I have in the house that are oh, okay. uh, too big or delicate. Too big right so, okay. but if you want to see them, I can bring them out. Awesome, thank you. Good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. Lots of toys. Nice. For my grandkids, I should say. I got them all kind of stacked in their nights the lid to sit on. And I just messed it up. Oh, there you go. I got it. I got it. That way they all fit. Oh, I remember this guy. That other one, that other box of what is nice too, of blocks. The wooden box. This there. one right I here. I got it priced a little bit more because it's in a wooden box, but it's really nice. It's got like, it's got like a stuff inside. Take a look at that one as well. Got a lot of great stuff. Lots of cool stuff. Can I set this down yeah, right here? Down. Thank you very much. You're Mm -hmm. 
bottles are all like collectible bottles over here. Yeah. What well, price? A dollar. I got them all like two. Oh. Twenty-two. Three dollars. See, that's where Nelly's the good luck. Oh, okay. You know, that's actually pretty cool. There, there's trucks down below. That one, that one yellow truck fits those blocks that are in that box. And it's got a little man that fits in those. Yeah, this guy here, yeah. yeah. It fits in those low blocks. I do like this, actually. Now that you mention it. Look at that. that right there. tickets that we paid to the season. And then, yeah. then who was next in line? Your dad Honor bought them. Your dad bought them. And then, oh, that's where they got them. They bought them from, yeah. from my dad. Yeah. And then when his dad was done, then he bought them. Well, dad quit because they marked back, got all the seats taken up, and my dad ended up in the middle. We had great seats, and they were going to move the seats inside. I, I have not. They, they, we never. Oh, we have 13 years. I have 13 years, wow. and they never, ever won that whole 13 years. <laughs> and so then Barb grew up in Indiana. So then Rick decided to convert and become a Colts fan, and that's when they were there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Peyton Manning. You know, so then I fell in love with Peyton Manning, so I just followed him from, from there to Denver. Denver. Yeah, they are. And then when, when he got out, then everything was way up in the air. Oh, I remember. Yeah. 
Song? The Adams family. Yeah. Sorry. Music box. Aww. I do think it works. I think. Been tested. <laughs> Let's see, twenty dollars.
All right, guys, so it was a busy, busy weekend. Um, hit a lot of sales, found a lot of really good stuff. Um, a lot of stuff to go through uh, and get processed. So I, I think at the end of this, I will probably be close to uh, 240 or 250 in um, active listings, um, which is really, really awesome for me um, as a, as a part-timer. I've been really kind of stepping on the gas here uh, these past couple of months trying to build up some inventory um, for going into the uh, into the off garage sale season. Um, so yeah, I found a lot of really great stuff and uh, excited to show you guys. So let's dig right in here. Um, so the first thing here, actually my wife found this. Um, it's Nesco Food and Jerky Dehydrator. Uh, so any of you guys out there that are looking for some, uh, you know, some dry foods, got you covered. Um, paid $3 for this uh, and some pretty good comps. Uh, pretty good comps going around for this one. And this one looks to be in really nice condition. Doesn't look to have been used much, uh, much at all. So that should do, should do really well. Um, I found a couple of these over the years. It's the uh, classic Play School Sit and Spin. Uh, this is the white and purple version. Um, a lot of you can find a lot of comps out there for these. Uh, these seem to do very well. Uh, a little awkwardly shaped, but uh, they're very light, so it shouldn't be too bad as far as shipping goes. I uh, paid $2 for this one. Also got some pretty nice comps out there for this one. Um, I am not a Yankees fan, but this one definitely caught my eye. Uh, this little Yankee Cabbage Patch Kid. Um, it's weird, I've seen that some of these prices are like all over the place. There's a couple that were selling for like $99. Uh, they were saying... Um, uh, made in, I think they were saying they were made in Thailand, um, or sorry, made in Taiwan. Uh, this one does have a tag saying it was made in Taiwan. I, I don't know that that 99 is a realistic expectation for, for this though. Um, so I've got some other comps up there that I think are a little more, a little more realistic for this. Uh, I paid $3 for this guy. Um, one of the last sales of the day found uh, two Guitar Hero guitars. Uh, this is the Reaper guitar. This is a wireless one. Uh, it also came with two dongles. So I got two dongles, two guitars, and Guitar Hero 2 in the Guitar Hero 3 case. <laughs> Had to make sure to double check that. I paid five dollars uh, for all that. So should do pretty well. Uh, the dongles do very well. Obviously, everyone's always losing those, uh, so those are those are fantastic. Uh, so I'll probably put um, I'll put the dongles obviously with this wireless one and the uh, other guitar I'll sell by itself. But um, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, uh, this is the second one of these I found here recently. Uh, we've got another classic uh, sit and or no, not a sit and spin. Uh, this is the C and Say the farmer, and this one works as well. Farmer knows what he's talking about, man. Um, paid yeah, one dollar right there. Paid one dollar for this guy. Um, again, this is not a huge, a huge flip, but if you see this for a dollar lying around and it's working, um, these almost, almost always will go for about ten to fifteen uh, without too much trouble at all. So, um, I thought this looked super, super cool. Um, I actually found this. So there was a sale at that started at 4 p.m. on a Friday. It was 4 to 7, uh, and I was heading uh, to meet a couple of uh, friends for an outdoor dinner, and uh, I had to stop because, I mean, he can't pass up a sale. It starts at 4 in the afternoon. Um, so this was really, I thought this looked really, really awesome. Um, I don't know that it's going to be as good as I was hoping. Um, I, I do notice there's a, there's a little bit of a crack right here, um, and I don't think that the microphone on it is working. Um, I do have some decent comps out there, um, but I, I have to check and see if those are for, you know, completely working um, helmets. But either way, I thought this looked really, really cool. Um, and I did pay up a little bit for it. I paid $10 for it after looking at the comps, thinking I could get around, you know, $35, $40 for it. So we'll, we'll shoot for that and, you know, we'll see, we'll see where this one lands. But I thought this looked cool. This is one I, I definitely almost overlooked. Um, and had they not had this little instruction thing, I probably would have overlooked it because I had no idea what it was. 
Um, so this is a a Squeezo strainer, uh, model 400 TS. I guess you use this. You can make uh, applesauce. Uh, you can puree your own tomatoes. Uh, all types of uh, all types of interesting things you can do with this guy here. Um, but as I you know, seeing it in the box, it was just a bunch of random random pieces. So unless you you know unless you know this stuff, uh, it's kind of hard to tell what that is, right? So, um, but it did have it had all of the had all the pieces with it. I mean, it looks really cool. Like I mean, this is probably one of the cooler things I've seen like in a long time, honestly. Um, it might be kind of fun just to put together and just kind of mess around with it, but so it's got all the pieces there plus the manual uh, paid $4 uh, and It's got some really nice comps on it as well. So it's very happy about that one And uh, at that same sale, I guess it kind of set the tone for um, for books for me this weekend uh, I bought a lot of very cheap uh, books, which I don't, I don't always do that, but these all just kind of, they, they stood out to me, um, for this week. Um, so at that sale, they had 30 paperback books. They were all sci-fi. Uh, they had, um, it was five for a dollar. So, uh, I paid six, six dollars for 30 books. And, uh, I think I got really lucky, uh, with what was in there. Um, so this one thing I would like to point out to look, to kind of look out for, so this is a Babylon 5, uh, and this is the Legions of Fire series. Uh, this is a three book series. Uh, I've got some really nice comps out there for this series, right around like 40, 50 bucks for this for three paperbacks. Um, I think this is something that's very easily walked past. I, I almost walked right past it. I, I I saw it out of the corner of my eye as I was going back to the car um, with the stuff that I already bought. So I'm glad I, glad I caught this one. Uh, so this one was really nice here. Um, also in there, there was another set, uh, Babylon 5. And this is the the passing of the Techno... Mages? Maybe? Mages? Pages? Mages? Something like that. Um, so this is a... It's a three three series, three book series. And then also there was the, the prequel to it, The Shadow Within. Um, so also got some really nice comps for this one as well. Um, and then there was, uh, there were about another, another 15, um, Babylon, well, maybe not 15, another, another 11 Babylon 5 in there. Um, it wasn't like a, a special series like these were, um, but I'll, I'll still, I'll put all those together in a lot as well. I think those would do, do pretty good. And then there were, um, well, let's see, one, two, there were about six or seven Star Trek um, in there as well. Um, these don't do as quite as good as uh, as the Babylon Five ones do, um, but these should still do pretty well. Uh, put it, I'll put all those together, obviously, in a lot. Um, also, uh, <clears throat> keeping on the book theme, um, Lady had a big bin of books. She had a quarter uh, a piece on them. Um, I asked her how much she wanted for the whole bin, and she said fifty dollars. I was like, I don't think you have near enough books in there for fifty dollars. Um, so I think she may have thought that she, I think she may have thought she priced it differently than twenty-five cents. I'm not sure, um, but she, I mean, she, she said, yeah, I only have twenty-five cents on there. Uh, so I went through and I just I counted what was in there, um, and it ended up being fifteen dollars. So fifteen fifty, yeah, you know, but really really great deal I, I i think i did pretty nice uh with these books a lot of a lot of kids books uh which obviously right now with kids being at home and a lot of homeschooling going on um i think the, i think the market's a, a little bit uh, inflated for some of these which is nice um so we've got richard scary's the best word book ever which is actually pretty cool um pretty nice comps out here for this one uh, i think i saw this one right around that 20 25 dollar range uh, so that one should do pretty well. Um, and also, if there was uh, the set. This is the Young Children's Encyclopedia. Uh, so there was a, it's a 16-piece set, uh, and all 16 um, were in there as well. Um, so also some really really nice comps on on this book set. This book set also. Uh, then there were there were quite a few of the uh, the bar books. Um, so I will I will put these. Um, 
I think I'll put all these together in a, a lot as well, uh, just of the, the Bed Bar series. Uh, and I think I should do pretty well with those also. So a lot of books, a lot, a lot of books uh, today. And I think the, the last thing I'm gonna go over, uh, this is a, a find, um, so this is something that uh, Jessica and my wife found. Uh, these are um, Muppet Star Wars figures. So we've got the Muppet characters in the form of a Star Wars character. So this is Miss Piggy as Princess Leia. And uh, I think Fozzie Bear as uh, Chewbacca. Um, so we paid two dollars for for all of these. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six of these. Um, and there's actually really really nice little comps out there for them. Um, I will probably split it up and do Miss Piggy and Kermit together, and then I'll do the other the other ones together as well. Um, that's that's kind of how I was seeing those lots kind of shake out. So. Uh, but yeah, that's a great purchase. Very happy with. All right, so this last piece, um, I don't have comps for. I have not been able to figure out exactly what it is yet. I just thought it looked really, thought it looked really cool and potentially very promising. Um, so I, I don't know exactly what this is. I think it's you know it's a porcelain set, um, potentially Japanese or maybe German. Uh, I've been trying to look look it up through uh, Google Lens. I haven't had a ton of luck yet. Uh, I've seen some similar things, um, but the main thing I'm trying to figure out, so I don't know if you can see this, but on the bottom here, let's see here. So yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but on the bottom there is a, um, it's a P and R with a crown on the top. Um, so it's, it's like a, it's a P that's looped into the R and it's got a little crown on the top. So I've been trying to scan just that, just that stamp to see exactly what that is, and I have not been able to find it yet. Um, so I've seen things that are very similar to this, um, but their stamps are very different than what I have here. So that's what I'm still trying to figure out. Um, but I really, I really, really like this piece. I thought it was really, really interesting looking. Um, I paid eight dollars for it. Obviously, took a risk because I, I don't know, you know, what it is or or what I'll be able to get for it. Um, hopefully it won't turn into a death pile item, but we'll see. All in all, a uh, really nice weekend, a lot of stuff, a um, lot of new inventory, which is great. Um, keep keep stocking it up and keep uh, shipping it out. Um, I think that is it for today's video. I really appreciate you guys watching very much. And until next time, stay curious.